Hello students, welcome to our channel Learning Notebook. In today's video, we will make a working model of trigonometric ratios. But before starting with this activity, let me tell you that we have many more maths art integrated activities, projects and working models on our channel Learning Notebook. You can find the list of all such activities on our website as well. The link to our website is available below in the description box. For this activity, we need few colorful sheets, a black marker pen, a pencil, a pair of scissors, a ruler, a compass, a protector and nut and bolt. Aim of this art integrated activity is to make a working model to learn trigonometric ratios. If you are enjoying watching videos on our channel, then do like, share and comment on our videos. Also, do not forget to subscribe to our channel Learning Notebook. Let's first understand trigonometric ratios. Consider a triangle. ABC right angled at B. Let's take angle A as theta. Therefore, AB will be the base, BC will be the perpendicular, and AC will be the hypotenuse. So, sin theta equals to perpendicular upon hypotenuse. Cos theta equals to base upon hypotenuse. Tan theta equals to perpendicular upon base. Next, cosec theta equals to hypotenuse upon perpendicular. After that, sec theta equals to hypotenuse upon base. And lastly, cot theta equals to base upon perpendicular. So these are the six trigonometric ratios. Now let's see the values of these trigonometric ratios at some specific angles, which are 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree, and 90 degree. Students, if you want to learn how to build this table in just 2 minutes, then do watch our separate video. You will find the link to this video below in the description box. If you are looking for more projects on trigonometric ratios, then do watch our separate video where we have built a working model for trigonometric ratios of complementary angles. Again, the link to this video is below in the description box. Now, let's start with the activity. In the first step, take a red sheet of paper and draw a circle of radius 10 cm on it. Then, carefully cut out this circle using pair of scissors. In the next step, take an orange colored sheet and draw a circle of radius 8 cm as shown here. Then carefully cut out this circle again with the help of pair of scissors. Students, if you want to make a smaller working model, then you can cut out the circle accordingly that as per the size. To learn more about trigonometry, you can watch our separate video on complete chapter of trigonometry. The link to this video is available below in the description box. Now, take the orange circle 
and make a rectangular window on it as shown here. Then cut out this window. Next, on this orange circle, paste another colored thin strip and write the name of six trigonometric ratios. After this, we will write the name of our working model trigonometric ratios. Next, take the red circle and divide it into five equal parts. You can do so with the help of a protector by making an angle of 72 degree each. After this, from the center, draw six concentric circles as shown here. Now students, you can either color or paint the outer circle or you can also paste thin strips to make a border out of it. In the next step, we will write specific angles on this border like 0 degree, 30 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. Now, we will take one A3 size cardboard and paste a yellow chart paper on it. Now let's arrange the model on this cardboard. First place the red circle, then place the orange circle on the top of it. Now locate the center and fix both the circles on the cardboard using nut and bolt. Students, you should be able to move both the circles as shown here. Now let's write the values of these six trigonometric ratios. First, let's do for zero degree. So sine 0 degree equals to 0, cos 0 degree equals to 1, tan 0 degree equals to 0, cot 0 degree is not defined, secant 0 degree is 1 and cos 0 degree is again not defined. Now let's write the values for 30 degree. Sine 30 degree equals to 1 upon 2. Cos 30 degree equals to root 3 by 2. Tan 30 degree equals to 1 upon root 3. Cot 30 degree is root 3. Secant 30 degree is 2 upon root 3. And cosec 30 degree is 2. Next, we will write the values for 45 degree. Sine 45 degree equals to 1 upon root 2. Cos 45 degree equals to again 1 upon root 2. Tan 45 degree is 1. Cot 45 degree is also 1. Secant 45 degree is root 2. And cosec 45 degree is root 2 again. After this, let's move to 60 degree. Sine 60 degree equals to root 3 by 2. Cos 60 degree is 1 by 2. Tan 60 degree is root 3. Cot 60 degree equals to 1 upon root 3. Secant 60 degree is 2. Cos 60 degree is 2 upon root 3. And now, in the end, we will write the values for 90 degree. Sin 90 degree equals to 1. Cos 90 degree equals to 0. Tan 90 degree is not defined. Cot 90 degree is 0. Secant 90 degree is not defined. 
and cosec 90 degree is 1. So students, we have written the values of all the six trigonometric ratios at these five specific angles. So our working model of trigonometric ratios is complete now. If you are a teacher, this will help you to teach students the trigonometric ratios in a fun way. If you are a student, this working model is very useful for you to learn trigonometric ratios. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.